Hello and welcome to Linux Ort. In this video, I want to show you how to sync some files between your computers in your local network. I'm personally a big Nextcloud user, but for Nextcloud, you need a third instance like a server, which is, for example, self-hosted or rented. But yeah, you need a third instance. But maybe Nextcloud is way too much for you and you just want to sync some simple files. And for that, I have the perfect solution for you. It is called SyncThing. With SyncThing, you can easily sync your files between different devices in your local network. This doesn't work if your PCs are outside from their home. For that, you can, for example, connect with a VPN to your router and then it will work again. And also a minimum of two devices have to run that sync thing is syncing the files between these both computers because there is no third device which is always online and which is always serving. But besides that, you can sync between Mac OS, Windows and also Android and of course Linux, for example. And I would say let's start and let's have a look how this works. I have two Linux Mint PCs here. This is my first machine and this is my second machine. On both machines, we have to install SyncThing. You can easily find SyncThing in your repository. I'm installing this, for example, with Linux Assistant. You can type in SyncThing and there we have a flat pack variant, for example, sync thing gtk it's okay it works quite out of the box but i prefer the version of my official repositories which is here install sync thing gtk via apt i want to install this of course you can also type sudo apt install sync thing dash gtk it's a very simple terminal command and on the other distributions, this command is very similar. We need to install this sync thing app on both sides. So let me do this here very quick. And after this is finished, let's open up sync thing on both sides. Sync thing GTK, we have to start in here. And on there, we have to do the sync thing first run wizard. This is very easy. You just could press on next on every single page. Here you can define your web UI. Leave this at listen on localhost if you don't want to control this sync thing instance from the outside. I highly recommend it for also security reasons. So just leave it as it is. Select next and then we select close. And after some seconds, we see here our start screen on sync thing GTK. Here we see allow anonymous usage reporting. For me, this is okay in this case, but you can also press no at this point. And yeah, this is the sync thing GTK on the first side. Then let's do also the intro on the other side. And after some time, this is also finished. Now we have to let these both sync thing instances find each other. On the one hand, I'm showing my ID. You can do this with this menu icon here and then select show ID. In English, it looks like this. Yeah, very easy. And on the other device, we select the plus icon here on the left top corner and select add device. There we now have to add a device ID. For that, we have to copy this ID into here and I am doing this by hand. I will promise you it won't take you any longer than 60 seconds, but you can also do this via USB stick or email or anything where you can transfer text between these computers, but I am just copying it manually. And after some seconds, I'm finished. You can also copy this in your text editor of your choice if you misspelled something. And also it's very important that if you're wondering, are these zeros or O's? These are all O's. So there never is a zero in this code. But then, yeah, we have our device ID. I leave device name blank. It then chooses the device name automatically. This is completely okay for that. And here I can select share folders. I want to share my default folder with it and I select save. 
And on the other point, I see here an unknown device want to connect to sync thing daemon. This is okay. I select connect or add. And then we see here the device idea of the other device. And I can also select share folder like on the other window and hit save again. And this process could take some seconds up to a few minutes. SyncThing is not the fastest app in connecting. After the connecting process is finished, then SyncThing GTK is very fast in transferring files. But until this happens, it takes some time. So just give it a few minutes. If you don't want such long, then you can just hit restart daemon on both systems. And after some seconds, then both systems are connected and then we can head into our files. And there we have a new folder, which is called sync. I select sync here and then I can create a new file. For example, this good file here. And then I'm heading over to the other machine and let's see if it already had synced. I choose also the sync folder here and here we see there is our new file subscribe to Linux Ort in this case. It's very easy and this is almost everything to sync thing. If you have problems connecting sync thing, you can also just use the terminal for your firewall sudo uv allow sync thing and just hit enter i type in my password and after that the rule is added and you can also do this on the other machine here perfect also my password and then also these rules are added and then sync thing should work just more reliable but at my test also sync thing worked with some firewalls on but just good to know if you have some connection issues have a look there. Also, you can define some additional properties in your folder settings. Just right click this and select edit. And here we see our folder label. We can change it. We can also change this to a send only or receive only folder. We can also choose the rescan interval. This is to 60 minutes at the time, but when a file is changed immediately, then sync thing does it thing. So you don't have to wait 60 minutes until everything is synced. It's just for a whole rescan in this. And here you can also select which devices you want to share this folder. You can, of course, add some more devices, for example. Also, you can power up a Raspberry Pi, for example, and use this as a sync thing server, just like this. This also works quite fine, for example, you can also choose the file versioning method. I won't recommend anything of that. I would only use sync thing as a simple file syncer, not anything more. And here you can also select some file pull order if you want and uh, some um, permissions, for example. But this is completely okay. You probably don't want to change these settings. Also, let's have a look to our preferences on SyncThing GTK. You can choose very easily start SyncThing GTK when I log into my desktop, but I would recommend another tool, but maybe this is also okay for you. Just hit start SyncThing GTK and minimize to tray on start. And then we save up some time by going to startup applications in our menu and add sync thing as an application. We have a start sync thing command. This is also very good and works quite fine. If you just want to use this also, everything is okay at this point. Also, you could choose some integrations with your file manager, for example, Nemo with your cinnamon desktop. It's great. Just turn it on if you want. And also you could choose some daemon settings, but you won't need these. I would recommend uh, unless you really know what you are doing and you also won't want to change the binary location and anything else. So just leave it as it is in this case. So I would say let's restart this computer and have a look if everything works. After a restart, we have here our sync thing icon. 
even if it's gray, it just works quite good. I just tried it out sometimes. I add a new folder here, for example, 2137.txt. Just have a look at the other machine. And here we see the file after some seconds, I guess. It just, yeah, needs, I would say about 30 seconds to one minute until it is synced. This was about, I would say, yeah, 20 seconds. And then here we have our new file. So even this is gray, it just works quite fine. Sometimes this display doesn't work quite well. So if you head over to restart sync thing daemon, um, then yeah, this shows correctly up, but it also works even if it isn't displaying everything correctly. This was it for today. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's finish up the 4K subscribers. And I would say let's see us in another video because every week we are releasing new videos about Linux and open source. So just stay tuned and subscribe to this YouTube channel. This would help a lot. So yeah, see you in the next one. Bye.